The first question which I am going to take up is under root 3x square minus 2x minus a root 3 equal to 0. Now we need to split the middle term into two factors and those two factors should have the sum that is the sum should be equal to the coefficient of x that is minus 2. So a plus b should be equal to minus 2 and the product of those two factors a b should be equal to the product of these two coefficients that is the coefficient of x square and the constant term. So this is minus 8 into 3 which is minus 24. So if you spot these two numbers whose so sum is minus 2 and whose product is minus 24 then other things are going to be very easy. See that sum is minus 2. So the difference between the two factors which we choose here should be 2. Like we have 4 and 2, 4 and 2 the product will not give us 24. 5 and 3 obviously the product is not 24. 6 and 4 there you are. The product of 6 and 4 is 24 and the difference between 6 and 4 is 2. Now after having identified 6 and 4 we need to think of the sign. 6 and 4 but we need the sum as minus 2. So it has to be minus 6 and plus 4 because if you add minus 6 and 4 you are going to get minus 2 and if you find the product of minus 6 and 4 it is going to give you minus 24. So I have identified the two numbers which are required uh, for uh, finding the solution of this important equation. Now once you split the middle term by taking in, uh, into account the sum and the product of these two factors then the second step is to change the sign of these two. Now minus 6 becomes 6 and 4 becomes minus 4. So this is the second step. So the first step was to split the middle term. The second step is to change the sign of the two factors which you have found out in the first step. Now the third step is to divide both these numbers by the coefficient of x square. What is the coefficient of x square here? It is root 3. So just divide this by root 3 and divide this by root 3. Now 6, okay, if you rationalize here by root 3, this 6 by root 3 will become 6 root 3 by 3. So 3 cancels with 6 2 times. So this is actually 2 root 3. And obviously this cannot be factorized further. Even if you split, uh, even if you uh, rationalize this, this is going to give you another answer. Say if you rationalize by root 3, this is going to give you minus 4 root 3 by 3. So you can write answer like this also if it is already in the simplest form. But here the answer was being simplified further by one step. That is why I rationalize this. So here we are. We have the two solutions or the two roots of this quadratic equation. 2 root 3 and minus 4 upon root 3. Let's have one more question for practice. Now here the coefficient of x is minus 2 root 2. So I need two numbers whose sum is minus 2 root 2 and whose product is the product of these two numbers. So this will give me root 3 into root 3, 3, 3 into 2, 6. So minus 6. Now I need two numbers whose sum is minus 2 root 2 and product is minus 6. So if we have a root 2 here, then both the factors will contain the same root 2 in both of them because if you add then root 2 will come in the sum also. Now what should be the coefficient? Now see root 2 into root 2 is 2 so I need a 3 factor because 3 into 2 will be 6. So I need to suffix one of them by 3. So this becomes 3 root 2 and this becomes root 2. But I need to be careful about the sign also. I need the sum as minus 2 root 2. So the larger one will be negative and the smaller one will be positive. So minus 3 root 2 plus root 2 will give me minus 2 root 2 and the product of these two will give me minus 6. So first step is done. I have split the middle term. 
now change the sign so this 3 root 2 minus 3 root 2 becomes plus 3 root 2 and root 2 becomes minus root 2 and what was the final step I told you in the first question you have to just see the coefficient of x square and divide both these numbers by that coefficient so the answer we will obtain here this 3 root 3 can be cancelled with 3 thereby giving us root 3 so root 3 into root 2 is root 6 and the second answer minus since we have a square root sign in the numerator and denominator you can combine that square root sign thereby giving you the answer minus square root 2 upon 3 so this is the answer of the second question friends likewise you can go on and on and solve some more questions and be comfortable with all such kind of questions which are asked in competitions also and class 9 students and obviously in class 10th you have the quadratic equation chapter very important for those students also let's see one more question here we have root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 equal to 0 so I need two numbers whose sum is 7 and whose product is 5 into 2 10 very simple the two numbers are 5 and 2 because 5 plus 2 is 7 and 5 into 2 is 10 so after applying this rule I have found out the middle term split factors now change the sign this becomes minus 5 and this becomes minus 2 and just divide it by the quotient of x square so minus 5 by root 2 and this also here you cannot simplify here you can simplify root 2 cancels out with 2 giving you a root 2 in the numerator so your answer for the question minus 5 upon root 2 and minus root 2 very very simple method if you practice it for half an hour taking 20 such questions I am sure you are going to feel comfortable in all such questions of quadratic equations. Let's see the final one. Here we have 3 root 3 plus 10x plus root 3 equal to 0. So what is the quotient of x here? We have 10 as the quotient of x. So I need two numbers whose sum is 10. And what about the product? The product should be the product of the quotient of x square that is 3 root 3 and the constant term so 3 root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give me 3 into 3 9 so I need the product as 9 so can you tell me the two factors whose sum is 10 and whose product is 9 very very simple the two numbers whose sum is 10 and product is 9 are 9 and 1 why because 9 plus 1 is 10 and 9 into 1 is 9 so if you just try the hit and trial method of finding the numbers you will get to 9 and 1 very easily so I have the middle term split of this equation this is 9 and this is 1 and what do we do in the second step we just change the sign of the two factors which we have found out in the first step so this becomes minus 9 and this becomes minus 1 and what about the final step in the final step we locate the coefficient of x square which is 3 root 3 and divide both the obtained numbers of the second step by the coefficient of x square so we have minus 9 upon 3 root 3 and minus 1 upon 3 root 3 now how can we simplify this see obvious thing is 3 is cancelling with this 3 times thereby giving you minus 3 upon root 3 and since we have 1 in the numerator, this cannot be simplified. So you can leave the answer as it is. So whenever the numerator and denominator does not contain any common factor, then the answer can be left as, as it is. No marks will be deducted for not rationalizing. Here we have another common factor, 3 and root 3. Obviously, root 3 cancels 3 and root 3 in the numerator will be there. So your answer for the question will be minus root 3 as the first one and minus 1 by 3 root 3 as the second one so here is the answer for the final question friends i am sure this video is going to be beneficial for all the students who are studying in class 8th and above because in 8th class the students take up this topic of squares and square roots 
and uh, that topic is used in many concepts at class 9 10th level so practice such questions so that you can work out these type of questions within 5 to 7 seconds in competitions so friends if you like this video do share it with all your friends who are preparing for competitions and do not forget to subscribe the channel